Oh, somebody just arrived. I'm here. I might have uh, to restart my computer. Okay, it's not beautiful. It's not perfect. It's not formatted exactly for the screen, but okay. I need screen sharing. Hello, Jill. Uh oh. Oh, let me see if I can give you. Oh, Brandon's here. Hi, Brandon. Brandon, I'm having technical difficulties. I think I have to restart, but I need to make. I need to make Richard co-host. Uh oh. Stop it, computer. My computer's going black. <laughs> oh, no. I need to make you co-host before I can get out. I can't even see you because my computer is not letting me. Come on. I'm trying to make you. <laughs> my computer's flashing black, so I can't even see you to do this. Oh, that's not fun. Stop it, computer. Tell the computer to stop it or I... you'll bury it in a box. <laughs> Experiencing technical difficulties. I'm trying to hit host. Yeah, because I have his book cover up on the uh, screen to share. Did it just make you host? Oh, yes. All right. I'm going to restart. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. I'll put that up. See you in a minute. And hello, Brandon. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hanging in there. Uh, Jill's having her normal difficulty. She's got some severe bandwidth issues. And okay, I, under, I understand. This is my first Zoom meeting, so uh, <laughs> I, I may experience some difficulties too. Well, you're coming in great, and I can see you. My camera okay. is, uh, I have it, but it's, um, my laptop is in a uh, dock, and the screen is, <clears throat> the lid's closed. So, okay, uh, I'm actually on my phone because I don't have a webcam. But uh, phones are great; they work fine. Good. Just like I can't, you know, they're a little limited in doing screen sharing and stuff like that. Right. Right. Uh, so we're also supposed to have Eloise Hugh Smith's granddaughter with us today. So that'll be that'll be extra special. Okay, I'll see. And make sure she makes it into the uh, uh, meeting here. Let me read. Okay. Her, her name's Betsy Smith McLean. Okay. And you're on an iPhone, correct? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure that I uh, have it. Uh, not the right person identified so i'm renaming you okay so you're there and hopefully jill will be back here in a minute all right <laughs> sure. so how are you doing are you holding up with all this uh, COVID thing going on? Uh, it's uh, been very trying. I work in the medical field, so uh, you know it's it's been an unusual time. Oh my my! <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I uh, I am a uh, extra class ham radio operator, and thus I got drafted into the uh, state oh, okay. department of homeland security and emergency management um, Oxcom team here in Colorado. Okay. Uh, 
So whenever we have a big disaster or fire or something, uh, they call me into drive radios. Ah, okay. But, um, I also do all the Skywarn uh, stuff with all the ham radio operators in uh, two counties here. Uh, oh, wow. But uh, I'm very surprised I haven't got activated for one thing or another for the whole duration of this. Yeah, it's, but, uh, it's been a crazy year. It has. I'm waiting for it to end. <laughs> we uh, think we need a do-over. <laughs> Yeah, I hit that reset button. Yeah, call call next year, twenty twenty, and see if we if we can do it right. Yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> so. Okay, give me a second here. And Jill's back. Hi, Jill. I see her. She just came back. <laughs> oh, yay. Sorry about that, Brandon. My computer That's... just started glitching out. <laughs> How are you That's today? Okay. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Uh, <laughs> we're, I think so we're this is my first Zoom. Zoom. This is my first Zoom meeting. So uh, oh my gosh. Hopefully, hopefully I'm doing okay with it. You're doing great. Did you play around with the buttons to see what? Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> are you are you on a computer or are you on a phone? I'm on a is phone. That <laughs> All right, you're on a phone. So I think if you turn it sideways, um, and then there you can, go, then you can slide better. back and forth and see if you can see everybody. Is that a better view for you? Oh, yeah. There's Betsy. <laughs> Yay! Hi, Betsy. Hey, I'm Betsy. Mute. I think she's muted. Let me unmute her. He's working. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be, hi, everybody. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this gonna, is Betsy. Who, Betsy, this is the first time Betsy and I have actually spoke. You've never heard my voice. I've voice. never heard your voice. My grandson, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Oh my Got his Titanic shirt on. Oh, great. We Betsy brought Lucian and Eloise to join. Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah. They, wanted, they wanted to come join, and we brought, of course, our, our book. favorite book in the entire world. Fantastic. Thank you. Happy yeah. birthday, Brandon. Thank you. Yeah. So glad that card got to you. It did. Yay. Perfect timing. I was yeah. at my wit's end. <laughs> I understood oh, after I opened it. Why? Oh, gosh, and all those pictures. <laughs> I thought somebody I snagged it. it at the post office, and I yeah. was like, nobody else would care about Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, well, you're pretty as a picture, Miss Jill. Oh, wow. So why does she have Brandon introduce himself and then introduce Betsy? I think she's having some computer problems. Yeah, I think so too. I am a silly person when it comes to this. I don't even know what I'm doing. And this is my first one. This is my first one. Yeah, I, I, I don't do good with technology. Me either. Mm -hmm. Me either. Mm -hmm. Right there with you. Where's your beautiful wife? Uh, um, she's over right here, here, probably crocheting. Of let me course. see if I can. Let me see if I can drag her on. She's probably making a llama. Say hi to Betsy. Oh, okay. where are you, Miss Julian? Hi, Betsy. Hello. <laughs> Thank you How so are much you? for my guardian angel yesterday. Thank you. Oh. You <laughs> made my day. Well, You're good. a doll. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You guys are adorable. We love, 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 Thank love, you. love you. <laughs> we love you guys. Someday yeah. we're going to come see you. I swear yeah. to goodness we are. I hope so. I we want to go to Huntington and have you give us the grand yes. tour. Yeah. Yep. I'll take you all gal. around. Look how pretty you yeah. are. <laughs> She's doing some crafts and she lets me do my Titanic thing. So. <laughs> but you're good at it. Yeah, she's good at it.
Well, thank you. Hi. Hi. Is Jill there again? Jill, hello? I think she's frozen up. <laughs> oh. Did I freeze up again? Jill, you might have to move to your phone if you can. Stop it. You all have permission to unmute your Having a little problems right now. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Okay, what she just said is everybody's got privilege to um, unmute themselves, mute and mute themselves. Are we muted? No, uh, Jill's muted, but you all have the ability to mute and mute yourselves. There's a button in the, uh, should be in the lower <coughs> corner. Oh, Lord. Uh, there, if, don't worry about it. <laughs> it if, if you guys have you problems with it, immediate. we'll take care of it. Jen, click it. Anthony will know. He's, he's my grandson. He's 14. He'll figure it out long before. No, he'll know about it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we'll be able to. We, normally, what we do is we allow people who ask questions to be able to turn them their mics on and off, and and so they can pop in and ask a question and and that kind of thing. So. Uh, uh, but we also have the ability here to to do it ourselves. Um, I'm just gonna listen because Brandon knows more about my family than I do. God <laughs> bless him. I've learned a lot from you. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I've learned a lot from you. <laughs> <laughs> You've taught me many things. So I'm Anthony. I just want to listen yeah. to you. Okay. Is Andrew there? He is, but he's having to work. Oh. So he he said hi. I guess you missed him. Hi, I must Madison. have missed him. Yeah. He'll come out before before he goes. He wants to say hello okay. to you. Okay. <clears throat> Question. It's like Jill is surfing. Computer <laughs> <laughs> keeps me out of oh, sorry. Yeah. Check that out. Uh, Join That's us. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, she's popping in and out. Clicking back in now. Is she? Is she back? Uh, she so back. Like, okay, Jill, are you back? Is the type, uh, is there, but I don't think she clicked in just yet. She's here. She's just. Well, Brandon. Yes. Your... Where did you find that awesome picture you sent me the other day of the um, Frenchman? Um, that was on uh, one of the Titanic Facebook groups, I believe. Uh, it was a colorized photo of Paul Chevry, um, who was a sculptor. He was a noted sculptor, and he was one of the Frenchmen who was playing cards with your grandfather the, the night the ship struck the iceberg. Yeah. No, and no. Uh, he, he didn't live much longer after that. He survived, but he actually died about two years later. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I think I told you it was his, is it his grandson? Somebody, somebody's, one of them, one of the, the men playing chess, the, um, the grandson contacted me. and I remember you telling me that, yeah. California, but this was back, you know, Kathy was still alive and, and stuff, yeah. and um, I was just, I didn't know him, and I, I was afraid to go there. I, I know For some reason, of, when you did it, it was okay with me. But I've had other people too that have contact, and it's like, no. Yeah. Something about yeah, you, yeah. though. I'm sure you get. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure over the years you've got hit up a lot. You know. Yeah, but and, you don't know who's real and who's not. No, no. <laughs> no. But you I, I know one of the Frenchman's family uh, did save a card from that night. Um, really? I think it was. I think it was Pierre. Uh, Mayor Shaw's 
family. I think they saved a playing card from the game and actually still have it. That's uh, something else. It could have been his family. Uh, I think it was his that saved the card, though. Yeah. Wasn't, was it, wasn't it said that uh, they – they went to one side of the ship, ship and, then, we and then he went down and got Eloise yes. and went to the other yeah. side and they all survived and he did it. They all, they all, those three Frenchmen all got into uh, number seven together on the starboard side. Uh, it was the first boat lowered and uh, it actually contained more men than women uh, because okay. Murdoch was pretty, pretty liberal in letting men in. And uh, so those three Frenchmen did survive, whereas your grandfather, like you said, he probably, you know, he went back and got your grandmother. And, uh, you know, it, it all came down to what side of the ship you came out on. Yeah. And they went to port. They went to the port side. Mm. And, you know, one of, one of those history. tragic, yeah. tragic yeah. circumstances. Yeah. Yeah, Light yeah. Tyler was treating it like women and children only instead of yeah. women yeah. and children first. Yeah, yeah, that was the important thing for them. That's the way right. my dad was when we were on the Viking Princess. My dad followed his dad. Yeah, I don't know yep. if you all know it, but Betsy actually survived the shipwreck as well. Oh my gosh, what's the yeah. Smith today. Family Curse? <laughs> yeah, it's our Smith curse. curse. Yeah, nobody wants to cruise Cruiser. with us. No. <laughs> Smith. Oh, yeah, it was 19. Was it 66? 60. Yep. I, I was Al almost exactly 54 years to the day after the Titanic. I was a Excuse little me. one. Yeah, yeah After caught the on Titanic. fire. Yeah. We lost everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But my dad wouldn't get in the in the lifeboats, man. He put my he put my mom and he me acted on exactly and my like his father did. Yep. Because he yeah. He was noble like that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you all were kind of just in your night clothes, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. I got and, the stork jacket because yep. I didn't even have any. I was like little and I didn't even have my jammy top. And I was wow. so mad at everybody for not taking me to the captain's ball. That's all I kept saying. Oh, oh they're like, what about the captain's ball? I'm like, yeah. who didn't wake me up? They're like, oh. your ship's on fire. We got to get off. There's like, oh, what about the captain's ball? Oh, see what kids are thinking so much differently than adults yeah. in the tragedy. Yeah. They're, they're just like, and on, and on we went to Guantanamo Bay and yeah. there we stayed until. They yeah. flew us to Miami. So was it nighttime or daytime? Mm -hmm. or yeah, it was. It was night. Oh, yeah. Wow. Was I everybody know. everybody able to get off? Because now yeah, there were only a couple people that um, passed away uh, heart attack. Probably but no, but nobody smoke. was left. Probably there. from smoke inhalation. Probably. Probably. The captain wanted to stay, but they they made him get off because they towed it back in. What I mean, it didn't sink. That? But I lost my wooden shoes that I got. Oh. I had these little wooden shoes. I was so proud of them because where, where, where is it called? I don't know. It's dumb. I'm, I'm going to have to find you some wooden shoes then. Oh, yeah. You mean those like uh, those little wooden to, Dutch shoes? Yeah. Little... They were. Yeah. And that was my only souvenir from oh. Carousel or whatever it's called. Carousel, oh. whatever it's called. I was a little wow. kid. All I wanted was my but I got a Stuart jacket. I still have the pen. You Gonna showed me that pen. pen. Yeah. 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 And the, and the newspapers picked up the story uh, and, of course, caught on that your dad was a Titanic survivor, technically. Yeah. And, of course, of course, they mined that, you know, because there was a Titanic connection. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. It was a, it was. Uh, what ship was that that uh, you were on? That the by? Viking Princess. Ah, I believe it was 1966. It was I, a, April, April yeah, 8th. Uh -huh. maybe. Yeah, because I yeah. I was born in 1958, and I know I wasn't 10 yet. Yeah, because your your birthday is two days after the anniversary of the sinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but anyway, oh, go ahead, Brandon. Gosh, that's right. You have one Chit of those. Chat. Yeah. Oh my so gosh. Who else, who else do we have on? Do we have anybody else on? Let's right see. Now. Let me check our make sure everybody's here. We have Ramon Robinson. You should say hi, but he's got his uh let's see. Oh, there he is. Hello. There he is. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Where are you coming in from? Hi. Chicago. Ooh. Chicago. And we have Richard here who lives in Denver, Colorado area. Nice. 
And I'm over in Rochester, New York. Your pictures are pretty. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Very pretty. I've always heard New York's pretty. I've been stuck here in Florida. Oh, are you, you in New are... York City? Or... I'm in Rochester, so it's upstate, Ro kind of Rochester. near Lake Lake Ontario. And okay. Um, I've been to I've been to Buffalo, and I've been to Sleepy Hollow. Oh, okay. And yeah, I grew up down that... there by Sleepy Hollow. Oh, did you? Okay. Yep. Or, or Terrytown. Town. Yes. Terry, yep. yep. That's yep. where the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Um, that, yeah. Have you been to that cemetery? Yes. Yep. So that's, yeah, Vincent Astor, I'm sure you knew, was buried in there. Yep. And uh, Margaret Swift, oh, I haven't Titanic survivor. That. I have to, next time I get down there to visit, I'll have to go because I went in New York City. I went and visited like um, J. J. Esther's grave. And, oh wow, and yeah. He's buried. He's yeah. got this beautiful view of the Hudson River. Wow. I did a Dave's Titanic tour. If you guys ever go to New York City, Dave Gardner gives a tour of all the historic Titanic sites um, from Macy's, okay. the cemeteries. Um, yeah the park named after for the um, Strausses and okay. Guggenheim and then he takes he ends his tour at a Pier 54 where Carpathia pulled in with the mm -hmm. survivors and then we do a little wow. silence it's neat yeah I wasn't studying Titanic yet when I was living down in Westchester oh okay not until later um. Did anybody oh. send you any questions or anything? I know. I guess I just figured you could give a little talk about how you got um, involved in Titanic That's and what the I story, wanted. and then how you ended up hooking up with Betsy. Now, did you? And then whether <laughs> you you started studying the Lucian Smith family and then met Betsy, or if you met Betsy first? No, uh, <laughs> I didn't meet Betsy until I'd already been researching. Uh, Eloise in particular for a couple of years and um, seems like I had maybe tried to get a hold maybe it was her sister Kathy I once tried to get a hold of on yeah. Facebook but I don't think she could get my message because we weren't friends on Facebook at the time uh, but I'd been researching her for a few years and on the anniversary of the sinking I think it was 2018 maybe um, I was already in the process of writing the book and uh, my friend Mike Poyer messaged me and he said he said oh my god Brandon Betsy he said Lucian and Eloise's granddaughter just posted on one of the oh Facebook my groups. gosh he's like you got to contact her <laughs> and uh, so I contacted her that way and uh, that was what year was that Brandon I think that was 2018 okay yeah that sounds right yeah but mm -hmm. I think you, I think you had tried before, but I was so, my sister, rest in peace. I love my sister very much. She was so worried about people just trying to, you know, get information yeah. or she was just yeah. worried about everybody didn't have the same. I mean, I looked at it as, Hey, talk about them. Tell, mm -mm. you know, she was totally different. Totally. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's understandable. Yeah. Um, I think it was her I tried to message once maybe um, you might I don't have remember. I don't remember that was a few years ago but uh, yeah so that was how I met Betsy and uh, we, and we became started. fast friends yeah oh, I bet. Yeah, we kind of started sharing information I was like hey I found this and you know mm -hmm. and unfortunately it came about that her sister passed away and um, she had preserved so much of Eloise's yes. uh her scrapbooks photograph albums um and I was about to put the book out when that happened and um then she said you know hey it turns out my sister had all this stuff yeah exactly. and, uh, we're getting a little bit of a <laughs> I yeah little, sorry little, i was little, trying little. to check the group for for questions while you're talking okay I turn my sound off go ahead so uh then she was able to you know go through all those old photo albums a lot of them hadn't been opened in probably decades um mm -hmm. and she would send me stuff and be like hey do you know who this is in these pictures can <laughs> yeah. you tell me who he this would know is? more than me <laughs> so we kind of yeah. we kind of went through them together in a way and uh identified some people and uh you know, very, very interesting process. 
Yeah. He, Brandon knew there was the, I knew once I started talking with Brandon, I knew he was a good person. I could tell that this was genuine from him and he, he wasn't just out to get information because I did contact you one time about somebody and you even said to me, you can do what you want, but, mm, and I'm like, I don't know who this guy is. And you said, oh. so. Yeah, I remember that. Off to the wayside he went. But no, Brandon has told me more things and it makes me happy because I mean, I grew up with these portraits of Eloise and Lucian my entire life. And I've even showed Brandon pictures before I was born in houses. And now they're in my bedroom. And it's so sad because these portraits are giant and they should be like in a museum. Yeah. And then I got one on one side of my bedroom and one on the other, but I got Lucian and Eloise and <laughs> in there with me. But Brandon's told me so much stuff about Eloise, the book itself. I mean, oh my gosh, my he really I was did just reading research. part of this book to my girlfriend on the phone today. I was reading it. <laughs> I was reading the little part, and I got a thank you card, by the way, too, Brandon. I got a thank you card from uh, Anthony's teacher. The first oh. I mean, um, two, we sent two of Anthony's wonderful teachers this year, because this year has been kind of weird. So Anthony yeah. and I, because I work at a school, yeah. so we both stopped in March, and um, he wanted to do something special yeah. for his teachers, and both of them were interested in the fact right. that, because he told them I, my great-great-grandmother, you know, was so Survivor. we mailed them books. And oh my god! Thank you for the mail today for one, and the other great. one was like, "Oh my god, this is <laughs> Yeah, when we texted her, she, so, she was very happy. Yeah, and I was reading my to my girlfriend Mindy today. I said, "Listen to this excerpt," and and I was about when uh, Eloise and Tudel decide they wanted to meet the president, and yeah. she just couldn't believe that. I said, "Yeah, yeah." Such a great story. Yeah. Yeah, it is a great story, so, and thank you for yeah. writing that about them. I mean, it's yeah, that came from uh, Edwin. Edwin told me that story. Yeah, Taylor's brother. I never met him, but I met. I did meet Taylor, and he just those yeah. pictures I sent you. I wanted you to see us with the portrait. Right, Be yeah. Beanie. I call her Beanie. I'm sorry if I say when I say Beanie, I mean Kathy. Okay. I never, I oh, never that was Kathy. your sister's name. Yeah, her name's Kathy. And she used to call you cake. She called me cake like a piece of cake. I was cake and cake. beanie. Cake oh, and beanie. Oh, yeah. wow. Cake and beanie. So, yeah. yeah so, Betsy, she, did your family always talk about Titanic? I mean, did you always know from when you were no, younger? No, no. When no, absolutely not. Uh, my father never spoke of it. And I've told Brandon the story. It's a great um, story. It is a good story. It's a really good yeah. story. My sister's... Yeah. My sister... Um, was um seven years older than myself so she's in the seventh grade and she has to write a book report and she tells my mom she has to write a book report for school and my mom says go into excuse me into dad my bedroom and find a book okay so she goes in the bedroom and she finds a book and she comes out and she says to my mom oh my gosh mom there are people with the same names as dad's parents in this book and I to remember. She said, well, Kathy, that's because, and that's the only way it ever got out. My father oh my wouldn't gosh. speak of it. My father wouldn't speak of it. I always wondered if he read the book, though. I know. Yeah. yeah. See, I lost him at 13 and mom at 16. I, I don't even know. I don't know so many right. things. I just know those portraits went everywhere with him, though. I can tell you that right now. And they I were in every that, house, weren't they? What's that? At every they, house. They every were house. in every house, weren't they? Every house. Every house. They they were uh, interesting, um, wondering like what happened to them, like when she was married to Robert Daniel, because she had the portrait of Lucian done. Beanie did tell me this. Lucian's portrait was painted after he passed. That was from a picture. Okay, I wondered about that. Um, so where did these, I don't think these other husbands would have been, let's hang Lucian up in the living room. I mean, <laughs> really? Yeah. So who, ha you know, who, but those are questions I'll never, yeah. I'll never know. Right. Like uh, where's their wedding album? Yeah, that's the true. wedding, yeah. that's interesting. Uh, we've found no wedding pictures, none. No, and she, I have, a scrapbook that's totally of just her church stuff, 
her Sunday school room. Her, I, I have her address book. I have, I have her diary where she says, nobody better touch this. It's my own business. I have all of this. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I can't yeah. read any of it. The handwriting th throws me. I ought to send it to you. <laughs> you could probably, you could probably, it's, yeah. it's before she was with Lucian. It's young. Wow. Oh, so, yeah, Brandon. Brandon, you're yeah. so cute. <laughs> I should send it to you. you. You always make my jaw drop when you tell me this stuff. Oh, I'm so glad you guys could meet because this is like a meeting. Well, yes, and you should <laughs> thank yourself, Miss yeah. Jill, Miss Pretty Girl with the prettiest smile in the world. Yeah. Oh, I yes. just like bringing people together so they can get mm -hmm. to meet each other because we're all, you know, yeah. we're you all have. touched by the story in so many different ways. So that's it's so awesome. It's just yeah. Brandon's done. Brandon's once done it. Yeah, I just always. Had oh, I it, couldn't. You know? It wouldn't have been what it was without you, though. You know, yeah, all those well, pictures. Team effort. Well, that must yeah. have been so exciting. You're writing this book, and you know, um, and then all of a sudden you find family because because last month we had Nicole appears. She um, wrote a book based on oh, yeah. a boy who died at Harlan and Wolf. He was the very first worker. He was 15 years old, and. Um, she didn't she didn't know even had any family um left and while she they someone put up i think she actually helped put up the grave for him and while she was there she ended up finding family members and they overheard her talking and they said hey you're talking about our you know our relative and and they got to be yeah. friends and um she found out you know that his dad did die when he was young and uh, he that's really uncle, you know things that she had just made up for her story it was it was fiction based from fact it's cool it's like yeah. things happen for a reason yeah 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 I, I really think so one one of my friends who's an historian and i think i told you this betsy it's uh randy bigham who's yes. written several biographies mm -hmm. he uh told me once he said you know i feel like in a way these people have a hand in this you know from beyond in some mm -hmm. metaphysical yeah. way maybe they kind of got it yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I feel like Titanic calls us to remember her and her stories. She like she whispers in, you know, certain people's ears. And um, Betsy Ramon um said, "Can Betsy give us a quick synopsis of the family tree? Great. I've never met her before, but I'm gathering from this conversation that she's the daughter of the baby with whom Eloise was pregnant. Yeah, yeah. Titanic. Yeah. Betsy yeah, yeah. definitely looks like Eloise. He says, like, yes, she I does. Think you do. You yeah, know, you do. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she you does. guys are absolutely <laughs> picking me out because my friend Mindy that I was just telling the story to on the phone." she asked me she said send some of those pictures because i said i just sent brandon a picture i said he knows everything yeah he knows more <laughs> about my family than i do and it, it's that's awesome. really exciting he's like he's doing all your ancestry.com <laughs> and brandon immediately knew oh that was your fourth husband i'm like oh my gosh i sent that picture to my friend mindy she writes back you look like her and i'm like you do. I've yeah. heard that before. I've yeah, heard that before. Do. Well, I hope I have her spunk and, you know, yeah. well, her V for life, you know, being able to, you know, it's such tragedy for such a young. She life, survived. You know? I mean, she's tougher than I'd ever be. Yeah. I could. I couldn't get in or out of a lifeboat right now if my life depended on it. So you go, <laughs> Eloise. Yeah. You go. I mean, no way. But no. Well, hopefully, you won't have to go through that again. <laughs> Lucian and Eloise, I did get him life. Yes, that's you right. did. Yeah, I know. Was, your, your, your time has come and gone. No more of that. I, I, was a, I was a little girl. I was a little girl. And you know, it's funny. I, I hate to say this, not, not meaning anything bad, but when we got to Guantanamo Bay, the only thing my mom and dad cared about was where is the table with the cigarettes and the coffee? Yeah. Because they had <laughs> tables laid out for all the people because, you know, everybody was coming off this this freighter they put us on or whatever cat and north thinking oh cigarettes oh. and coffee where's the cookies because i was a <laughs> kid i didn't even realize i'd just been in a fire it's a, a ship ship thing. thing and you survived it yeah right but no because it makes you wonder what the kids were thinking that night of yeah. titanic you know what's going on and god yeah. and god bless my sister again i'm beginning i'm talking about you because yeah. i love you my sister was so in love, my sister was 14. She was so in love with the, because um, it was an Italian 
the Viking princess oh, yeah. had an Italian crew. Mm -hmm. She was so in love with the Italian <laughs> crew men, the whatever they call them, yeah. that she, she took off and got in another lifeboat because she wanted to be with our steward. So mom oh, and I are in oh. one, Beanie's in one, and dad's back here in his underpants <laughs> saying, I'm waiting <laughs> in for the last one. Wow. It's just funny stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of the passengers on Titanic didn't know that there weren't going to be another lifeboat. I'm sure they were thinking, know. Yeah. you know, know, there wasn't, it wasn't, they wasn't really told to everyone that there wasn't going to be enough space for everyone. You know, they didn't want to. No, Eloise believed him. He, he told totally. her because I, I had to be briefed because I told Brandon, uh, my sister and I were on the Gail King show uh, about it because it was after um, um, Titanic the, with Jack and the, Rose. The, the, no, you was the uh, not movie, Jack, the, the movie. movie version. Yeah. So um, the my sister's trying to brief me because she's like, you got to know this and you got to know that. And yeah. You got to answer questions and all this stuff. I'm, like, I'm seven years younger. Now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I had I had no idea that it, it said in her uh, affidavit or whatever that when Lucian said to her, I will see you in New York. Believe me, go, go. She believed him. So when she got off that boat, even though she was with Robert Daniel, which whatever, she really thought he was going to be there. And that's Yeah, him. I know. Just sitting, just yeah. imagining, you know, all those women on Carpathia looking for more lifeboats. Yeah, you know, their husbands. We're, we're, we're and husband. heartbreaking. And and I think pregnant. Lucian knew. I think Lucian knew the ship was yeah. sinking too even when he told her that um, do you think he knew that he wasn't going to be able yeah. to get on a lifeboat and... yeah because he had such a sense of urgency uh when he went back to the cabin you know, he was telling her dress very warmly you know yeah. don't bother picking up personal belongings or anything like that and you know he absolutely would not hear of her staying any longer you know he tried to get her into number eight the first boat lowered on the port side she absolutely would not go so uh when number six lowered uh leela meyer who was one of her friends on board got in and her husband and lucian were able to coax eloise into getting in finally yeah um so yeah i, I think he I always thought he knew that it was sinking yeah. um, Sounds like i think it's just heartbreaking yeah. We think think about all these, you know, all these. Luckily, you know, she wasn't as financially devastated, was she? I can't. I don't. I didn't gather yeah. that she um, was as financially devastated as a lot of the, the women. No, she was. In, I think they were in pretty good shape. I think they were in pretty good shape. I just do know that there was a lot of um, controversy from his family. Yeah. Like, about the money. You know. There were uh, some legal legal battles between Lucian's family and Eloise. Um, mm -hmm. They claimed that Lucian hadn't had really any much money at all, just like an allowance of like maybe, mm -hmm. I think five hundred dollars a month, and uh, they didn't they didn't really want to give Eloise any mm -hmm. any compensation, any type of child support. Uh, Can you so imagine it, it turned, this is your grandchild? It, it turned kind of ugly. Yeah, it turned kind of ugly and ended yeah, up in yeah. court. And of course, she did end up getting compensation, but it took a few years. Yeah. 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 Meanwhile, yeah. she's struggling, trying to figure out how to put food on the table and, and grieving because there's just, yeah. I feel like there's just so many things that went wrong. You know, people lost their money, their belongings, yeah. their breadwinner. I know. Yeah. And that, yeah. time everything was so grand and gorgeous and then yeah. such a disaster it's like what just happened yeah what yeah. just happened yeah uh, i don't know i yeah. i can't imagine she was a strong lady yeah i wish strong you know, she had to have been very strong guy. yeah i get inspiration i think that's what because everyone my friends always say jill what is about this ship that sunk you know 100 years ago and i said <laughs> i think it's the survivors i just find yeah. that you know it's not the whole tragedy itself it's that the fact that these people survived it. you know a lot of people came and they you know got off in new york with you know no belongings no money they some of them couldn't even speak the language they just lost their husband their entire mm -hmm. life just 
you know, and so I've, I've always been interested what happened to them. And I think Brandon did such a great job explaining, you know, what happened to her, you know, afterwards, because we yeah, don't really right. hear much yeah. about that, you know, what, you know, what, and I think a lot of us can relate because a lot of us have been through, you know, tragedy and we wonder, am I going to get through this? How am I going to get through this? So I find it yeah. so fascinating. How did they get through it? You know, how did they, you know, and, and she ended up being, you know, just her story is just so fast. And those pictures, I, I had the, I carry the book everywhere I go because I'm like, oh, I gotta yeah. be ready. And I, of course I don't have it here because I wanted to flip through the pictures for I do too. people that are watching because I just, you know, you I really get to step yeah. in. You gave her a voice. And, um, oh, Ramon just wrote here. So now you have to tell us what you think about how she was portrayed in the A&E Titanic documentary and one of the other films. Do you think she is that the one anything that like the actress? Sunny? Is that the one you sent uh, me, Brandon? She was in so uh, on their honeymoon. One, uh, yeah, that was the other one. I can't remember what that one was, where they actually reenacted her. They had an actress actually I playing. I only saw her. the one you sent me. Yeah. Yeah, the one um, from 1994, uh, the longer one, Death yeah. of a Dream and The Legend Lives On. I thought it was uh, sweet. I mean, yeah. I hope that they were like that, so happy and yeah. everything. I, you know. Yeah, just in the 94 really one uh yeah they they read from her affidavit uh it was an actress i remember i think she had a pretty strong southern accent maybe mm -hmm. if i'm remembering right like you yeah. do you've got a good song he I, does, do. yeah. I, can't, I can't hide it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i know i said to andy i can't wait to see if julian and 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 uh brandon have the same southern accent because it just melts yeah. me Julian doesn't have any accent. Well, yeah. now, darn it. Yeah. She doesn't have any accent. I've got the accent. <laughs> but you guys are from the same place. Yes. Mm -hmm. So can you oh, tell everyone you. that's yeah. watching what fascinated you about the story and what got you interested? I, you know, I read it. But um, I'd love to. <laughs> what got me first answer. interested in the Titanic yes. or in Eloise or in into, particular? Into Eloise's story. Uh, in the Eloise's story, or it Titanic. started. Did the Titanic oh, okay. come first? Did that come first? Yeah. Studying? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, I'd love to. I first got interested in the Titanic when I was probably about 10. Um, and I remember exactly how it happened. I was in a grocery store with uh, my mom, and they had. Oh, he froze up. Toward the front. And I was going through that, that pile of books, and there was a pop up book on shipwrecks. And I, I was looking through it, and toward the center, they had a big uh, pop-up diorama of the ship sinking. And I just kind of froze on that and stared at it and uh, read the little description over and over because, of course, I, I got the book. That. <laughs> and I, like, could not believe that that actually happened. I remember thinking, that that sounds like fiction. You know, how could that really have happened? And uh, it never left me after that. And uh, eventually, I learned that Huntington wasn't too far away because my my well she was my girlfriend at the time wife now we were going to visit a friend who lived there and I'm like there's there's some connection to the Titanic in Huntington but I'm, I can't remember what it was and of course I looked it up and it was Eloise and she was buried there so I'm like let's let's go visit her grave <laughs> and that was the first time I'd ever visited a Titanic passenger's grave and that was right before the centennial. So that was early 2012. And so I started reading about her and there just wasn't much about her out there. You know, it was just the basics that she was on her honeymoon and pregnant and you know, that she was heartbroken. Hey, I'm, I'm losing, let me plug in my phone real quick. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. This <laughs> happened to me when I dying. tried to start the meeting. Actually, wait, Betsy, we can ask you quick. Ramon said, um, did you have you, did you ever meet anyone that knew both Eloise and Lucian personally? I know that would probably nope. be hard. They were no, nope. my my father never spoke of it. Um, she passed away in 1940, and my dad didn't marry my mom until 1946. So my mother never met her. Um, she knew the story, and the portraits followed them around. But no, I never knew. I, I did know. Um, I did meet her sister Tudell. Oh, her little sister Tudell, when I was um, 11, 
And we went to Huntington to Tudell's daughter's house, Vincent de Vilbus. She lived at 1111 11th Street in Huntington, West Virginia. And I thought Tudell was a thousand years old because I was a little girl. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going so old. Took her some ice and she scared me because she just stared at me. <laughs> if I'd only known now what, if I only knew then what I know now, I would have hugged this woman and said, oh my God, you're Eloise's sister. Let me, but wow, I didn't. And no. also a woman that did not want me to give her ice chips and she didn't want to give me any mustard for my hot dog. That's all I knew. <laughs> <laughs> But God bless her. My friend Mindy asked about her too today on the phone. She says, what happened to her sister? Because I read Brandon's uh, thing about the White House. And I said, I met her once. And I said, I thought she was a thousand years old. Anthony, this one here, <laughs> did so much research. He found out that she was how old when she passed? 79. 79. And yeah. she passed in what year? 1975. Uh, I yes, yes. And I met her in 1970. Yeah. So... She, she was, was not that so old, old, but to me, yeah. So, right. but she's the only person, except for Taylor. Yeah. Um, and I'm I get a little confused on where Taylor comes into play. Taylor and Edwin. So Edwin, Edwin was the first family member I ever talked to, and he How called is he him. Related? That's where I get confused. Well, he calls him. He called himself the great nephew, but he was really a cousin it was kind of he called her aunt eloise as like a term of endearment um but really and i think the way he explained it eloise's mom and his dad were brother and sister eloise's mom and his dad, and his dad. okay okay so they were so like bell, first cousins bell God. vincent hughes was his dad's sister i think that's how he explained it well i told you taylor met yeah. her she had a soft she was soft smoking with a southern accent and had violet eyes he told yep. us when those wow, pictures with, like that I taylor. The portrait the uh, pictures that taylor with taylor taylor said she was beautiful i was 10 and i looked up at her and she was softly spoken and she had violet eyes Oh wow. wow. That's so awesome. rare. Isn't that like Liz Liz Taylor had violence? That's Liz the only one I knew was he Liz <laughs> Taylor as yep. well. And I said, Oh my God. But yeah, Taylor came and saw us like um he came and saw my sister and I like four or five times. My sister and her husband Norwood, they flew out there in Alexandria and stayed with him. But he he was all about it. And then he introduced her. Mm, and see again, I'm sorry. It's because my kids were little and everything, but she's like, you got to meet these people that Taylor says we're related to live in the trailer park over here. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so there was a woman named Charlie. She gave me, she worked for uh, the Scott Paper Company up north. So she gave me a whole package of uh, um, toilet paper, paper towels, napkins, Kleenex and all that. And <laughs> somehow <laughs> beanie said that we were she was somehow related to us and i never got that straight i'm sorry i never got that straight but my sister did do this and i don't know if i've ever told brandon this she went to somewhere around melbourne florida and she met james smith's daughter <gasps> oh wow yes and she lived in a little teeny tiny one room place without, I mean, it was not, not, she didn't look good. Beanie said, Beanie said that she didn't have much to say about her dad. She didn't know much about her dad. So mm -hmm. that's how that went. And then Beanie said shortly after that, she heard that she had passed away, but that oh, was wow. Lucian's yeah. brother's daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one person I did meet before I met any family, um, I work in healthcare, and I was talking to this lady who, she's still alive as far as I know. She's almost 103 now. Wow. Uh, she was uh, probably about 100, maybe 98 at that time. And I was talking to her, and I said, oh, have you lived? Because she was, her mind was like perfect still. And um, I said, have you lived around here 
your whole life and uh, she said no I grew up and lived in Huntington so oh I said mm -hmm. hey did you by any done. chance yeah. <laughs> did you by any chance ever hear of a Titanic survivor coming from there and she said oh yes honey I went to church with that family and uh, so it turned out she went to church with Eloise's family. Uh, she couldn't remember uh, actually meeting Eloise, but she did yeah. remember Eloise's father, Congressman Hughes. She could remember mm -hmm. him. Um, cool. She went to church there where uh, Eloise got married the first time and uh, Central Christian Church. And she taught Sunday school there. And yeah, she remembered the family very well. So that sure. that was the first person I met who could kind of who had in some well, way come in contact yeah, with that's the pretty good. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. pretty good. I showed you, Brandon, that that thing I have. I swear I've thought about sending them to you. That big silver trophy looking thing yeah. that says to Eloise from your grant from your kin from your Sunday school class. Yeah. You know, nine or something. And I'm like. Wow. So yeah. I've thought about yeah. sending that to you too. Oh well. <laughs> if there's anybody that's gonna have anything of my family's, yeah, it's gonna be you. Yeah. Because well, I, I know you're gonna take care much. of it. Oh I'm serious. He's gonna take care of it. I yeah. can't I can't not not let somebody that cares this much have it. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll definitely treasure it forever we got we got dishes heading your way we're just trying to figure out how to <laughs> ship them yeah but they're they've got to be a wedding gift because it says ms on them mary smith oh, no. yeah she yeah. never went by mary and no nope. mary she's Eloise. not even she's not even buried under mary no no she did not like the name mary yeah so but we got like a setting i think she has a setting for about 12 brandon how many you want <laughs> Whoa! Who's fine? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, about, yeah. Yeah. dinner for him and his wife. <laughs> send them four, because yeah. there's coffee. Not, not that I match. would ever use them, but you know, mm -mm. no. There's coffee cups. There's everything. She had wow. so much stuff. She was so elegant. Ch oh. Cut yeah. glass. Good God, the cut glass. She was born in an upper class family, wasn't she? Yes. Political, very political family. Yeah. Congressman James A. Hughes. Yes. Yep. That was her father. Yep. Oh, welcome, Walter. Glad you made it. Hello. Hello. I've been on. I just had to try to figure out how to unmute. Yeah, I had the same problem when I first got on. I was muted. Oh, wow. we did too. It. Yes. Yeah. I I'm thinking about we giving little yeah. Zoom classes. I can give some little <laughs> Zoom classes to help the newcomers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so have you received now. your book yet no i have not i know he said lulu won't get back to him or anything it's so frustrating i want to write yeah myself. Well, it took you a long time didn't it Jill? yeah it did take a while well then i found out they sent it to the wrong address and it went oh. back and then they resent it oh my oh. god what is with that my friend my 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 friend lee i call her lisa b and yeah. she bought one of brandon's books for her mother for mother's day and they Flip it and send it to the wrong address, and it's in a locked mailbox. Oh no! Oh my god! In the villages of Florida, where her mom is seasonal, and the man said he's up Michigan, and she said my Mother's Day gifts in your box. He goes, well, wait till I come down there. It might be something I want to give my mother. She says it's my Mother's Day gift. So I got a friend that's got one in a mailbox waiting. Yeah, we got books all yeah. over. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna have to, to come down there. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, going to have to make that up. I think they owe Walter yeah. a coupon or something. For you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I ordered the two I, for the teachers and we got them in two weeks. Yeah. Oh. Well, I emailed them four times with a screenshot of my bank account. I had told them that yeah, they either ship me the book again or I want my money back. I don't blame you. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I paid $15.40 for that book. If I'm not going to get what I paid for, I want my money back. Absolutely. Oh, I don't blame you. Get it. You're going to love it because I hope you get the book. Though. Yeah. You'll love the book. The book. It's you like will looking love. through yes. a photo album of her life. You're just like living her life. Yeah. Oh, I just I want, want to send you guys also. Picture. I mean, she looks elegant and uh, I swear to goodness, if I could take this, if I can take the computer in here. Yeah. 
Can I do that? Yeah, I take us with you. We would love to My see. dining room. Okay. okay. This is totally all Elohim. Oh, I like your shirt, Anthony. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, bring the computer. You got to see all this. Don't mind Maverick's tour. Sure. Yeah, we're going all... on a field trip, guys. <laughs> Can you see? Can you guys see it? This yep. is all. Yeah. It's oh my Eloise. goodness. Oh, that's all Eloise belongings. I want oh, to go yeah. over it's and help Eloise. you sort it's through. I'm a good organic. organizer. Yeah. It's all I wish Eloise. I lived closer. Oh, How did you get that? Let me show you this. Brandon, tell them who this is. I hope I know. You do. It's oh. your grandfather. Yeah, that is Eloise's grandfather. That's oh. uh, Colonel S.S. Uh, Vinson. Barry. Yeah. Yep, oh, Samuel wow. Sperry Benson mm -hmm. during the Civil War. Brandon even showed me the ha the house that uh that he lit it, the pictures I had of this house. It's he still says standing. That's her grandfather's home. Yeah, oh, it's it's still goodness. standing. Yeah. Yes. Those are that's all Eloise. Wow! Yeah, did you just receive her? her? Oh, go ahead. That's all. That's yeah. all, Miss Eloise. Yeah. Were you related to her at all? Me. Yeah. I'm her granddaughter. Yeah, her, her, <laughs> her dad's Lucian. Uh, her dad was the baby Eloise was pregnant with on the Titanic. Okay. So, I didn't even know she had That's had children. That's grandma. This is this is yeah. a, this a very nice surprise. Oh, good, you have the book there because I've been I carrying do. mine oh, around. My, I'm sure it's in I my do. backpack. I'm, and like, I'm so what? proud of what my favorite author wrote in it. Uh, oh, let's I keep see. that right by my side. I won't. I will, and you know what? I won't even put anything on it. Yeah, like a napkin. Yeah, or anything. Don't or put anything we, on or, Eloise and Lucy. Or if we do, we apologize. Betsy, can, <laughs> Betsy, can you flip through that for people? Because that's what I wanted sure. to be able to do for. Oh, um, I would be. I would be. And maybe you can that. even explain some of the photos to people watching. Oh my we god, have, we have quite a large. Well, Brandon group of, can explain them more. Yeah, than me. he's looking around <laughs> for my book. Like I've been carrying. I think it this everywhere. is Samuel. <laughs> that man I just showed you. I believe this was his home, Brandon. Am I right? Yes. Yep. That was his home. That was your that dad. That him standing on the porch. I'm gonna right. pin you. I'm gonna pin this on you, Betsy, so it stays on you. Let's see. Spotlight. Okay, you're in the spotlight. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. And then that, Yeah, he's then on the porch there. Yeah, yeah. That same guy, that cool man. That was that hung in my house on Sunset Drive all my life. I thought, who is this man with a gun like this? <laughs> but nobody told me. Yeah. I thought mom and dad <laughs> had artwork. Yeah. There's Eloise. I want to tell you some money. money. Came from a uh, coal mine, didn't it? Yeah, coal yeah. and coke, supposedly. I guess we but really don't. Know. I don't. What I don't Lucian. get is okay. What I don't get is I learned that he was living on a family stipend of five hundred a month. Was that I don't, was that true? I don't know. That's what uh, that's what his mother claimed um, was that he just had an allowance. Um, that he wasn't independently wealthy. Uh, well, she did not want to, for whatever reason, give Eloise uh, any any sort of financial support to help raise her child. Um, to raise her grandchild, their grandchild. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm just... saying. She should have got some support from his family. Absolutely. It a, yeah, it and was it, a big it court turned, battle. It I turned think. kind of ugly. Uh, it turned ugly. Yeah, and ended up in court, and ultimately Eloise did it was end up because it was he money of his own. Yeah, yeah, it was basically it, they just butted heads, and it was never really clarified uh, if that was in yeah, fact but then the case. She married, huh? But then she married Robert Daniel. Yeah. Yep. Who was another wealthy uh, Titanic survivor? He took care of Lucian Jr. until they divorced. Yeah. He did. Because yeah. Elliot was supposedly found him coerting with a blonde in New York. Yep. Yep. That yep. Was they kind of separated. Yeah. <laughs> they separated, yeah. and uh, Robert was at one point cohabitating with another lady. Mm -hmm. uh, and that led to yeah. their ultimate divorce. Um, you know. But it's gone. interesting because they're yeah. the only two survivors to have wed who weren't romantically connected before the sinking yeah. so yeah. that is 
Actually, Carl Bennett and Helen Newsom were uh, connected before the thing came to well. Who? Her mother took her mother took her on a trip to get away from him because they didn't approve of him, but he followed. Right. In the end, they still got me. Right. Yeah. I have a book that I have a book owned, uh, written by them. Okay, is that the uh, um, Starboard at Midnight? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yep. That was written by their granddaughter, I think, right? Helen Bear Stanford. Mm-hmm. I've got to get the Zoom link because Maria wants to sign in, and I should have had that handy. I'm going to write it down so I can. Yeah, it took me a minute to come in, too, because I couldn't uh, figure out how to get in. I'm like, how do I get in? I want to talk. I know. I should have put it right in the live video. Um, Oh, sorry, I in I reinterrupted so you showing pictures from the book. Sorry about that. No, that's, that's okay. That's yeah. okay. I'm just, I'm yeah, just. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just ecstatic. Uh, I'm ecstatic of meeting you. Aw. <laughs> she was a nice surprise when she said I've she was going to be here. I said, oh, everyone's going to be happy about this. I'm so, oh my yeah. God. I wouldn't be here for one for Oh, I felt so bad. Bet so uh, Betsy applied, and then my admin team Thought that's for hilarious. some reason she wasn't around Facebook long enough, and they they kept <laughs> that was hilarious. Her and I said, "Oh my gosh, you can't deny her!" And then I said, "Don't I worry, laugh. Betsy." Yeah. And then she applied again, and we denied her again. And, <laughs> I laughed when Brandon. Brandon I was glad you were so nice. Month, I, yeah. Well, how do I get to see it? We'll do this, and that cracked me up. Yeah. I, 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 talked about, so yeah, I was forgiving. I was really We honestly want you. What was your yeah, name? I told Joe, okay. I'm like, that's Eloise Hugh Smith's granddaughter. I'm like, she can get in any <laughs> time. Yes. Like, you're, yes. you're always I think it's it. hilarious. Yeah. I do. I mean, come on. Now, I want to show you guys real quick. Um, okay, thank book. you. Okay, you see, your name? here's Eloise. Here's Eloise's. Here's Eloise's you might have to push uh, six month old picture. And then this and that. But I want to show you what's so cute. Anthony wants to show you because this is his little sister, and we think that she looks a lot like Eloise. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's your little sister. What's her name? Allison, but I gave her the nickname Allie. Oh, she does. She does look just like her. Yeah. Oh my he's, gosh. He, he loves his sister, but yeah, yeah. So this picture hung in in um. I have this picture, but it's in super bad shape. Um, it's very elegant. And it, and it beautiful. I, when I was a little girl, yeah. I used to look at this. And he also had his father's picture. Speaking of my dad, he also had my my grandfather's picture. There's so many awesome pictures. Brand, yeah. Brandon, my there husband made a are. flash drive and he, one picture. Yeah. If if you could hold that book up a little higher so we can see it better. Oh, I'm sorry. There it's we like go. looking through a personal family album. I was like, oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. is. But it's all thanks to Brandon. Seriously, yeah. this was and not you. Oh, uh, you this was her. Um, this was her own like photo album yeah. before she was um, with Lucian. Lucian, yeah. She had a. It was great her being all silly and stuff. Yeah. I love the yours truly <laughs> picture. I know yours truly. You should see your diary. I got to show you. It says, "Mind your own business." This is <laughs> oh, mine. My. She okay. means it. Yeah. On the cover, so like, don't be. Be, is that in there right. amongst your things? We're gonna have to have. We're, maybe we'll have an no, unpacking can... video with Betsy of unpacking yeah. our belongings. <laughs> but yeah, there's so many awesome. Yeah. Awesome. With awesome. Lucian or before? I'm That's sorry. the picture I like. That's the picture I like of her in the in her uh, just this one. Evening, evening gown. Evening gown. Yeah. Yeah. Brandon's favorite picture, yeah. right, Brandon? Yeah, my jaw. I've got all these originals. Yeah. yeah. I have all of them. That? Yeah, it's she, gorgeous. She, yeah. Was a, she, she was. She's the, a pretty lady. I didn't know that. There's Lucian. That's the only picture I know of of him. Yeah. I There's not a lot. Other picture of Lucian other than that. There, there are, are a lot, um, but I've got a few in the book there. Yeah, he's got some There's pictures. One. Here he is yeah. with his car. Yeah. Handsome man. I can't see. Oh, yeah, okay. it's a little. It's with okay. his, that's, he, it was with his car, and then here he is where he climbed up I on, the, on the honeymoon. That 
Brandon, did I send you that postcard yet? Uh, he wrote to his sister and said, here I am at the top of the pyramid yep. and I'm never going to do that again. I'm never going to do it again. I'll, <laughs> take, it. I'll take an airplane. He said, I'll yeah. take an airplane. Did I send you that one? They were in uh, Egypt. You had sent me the scan of it, yes. I'll yep. send you the real one, yeah. Oh. Was, that the, was that the first country of their tour? There was what? Uh, they was went. The country of their tour. Because I know they went to like three different countries. Yeah, yeah, that was their honeymoon. Yeah, think yeah. Egypt, Egypt, and then uh, Italy. I and, think they uh, here. They were in a yeah. year-long honeymoon, but it didn't work yeah. out right because she found out, found out she was. And finally, Europe. Europe. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, did they meet up with the Browns? Because weren't the Browns in Egypt too? I mean, Margaret Brown and the Esthers weren't they? In Egypt? She yeah, was yeah. in the same lifeboat yeah. with Molly Brown. I mean, Molly but were, were they in Egypt together? <laughs> Well, they were probably that. there about the same time, but I don't know. They just they, didn't, they weren't uh, there together. Yeah. That yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What I did hear in one of my lessons from my sister on the airplane ride to Connecticut to the Gail King show, she informed me Molly Brown knew that Eloise was pregnant and she said, please just put your hand over the thing. There's not a plug. You can't row. You're pregnant. Just put your hands over that. That's what I heard. I don't know. Yep. She did have that. her, yeah, she was holding the plug and also uh, keeping Leela Meyer's feet warm. Because uh, Leela got in wearing just very thin house slippers. Mm -hmm. And so she had, she had Leela's feet in her lap and was also holding down the plug. Wasn't her yeah. father Isaac Sachs, the owner of Sachs Fifth Avenue? Yes. Mm-hmm. They were on their way to his funeral. Mm -hmm. yep. he her just her husband. Away. Yep, and he had just passed away. Right. The, the Strausses were the owners of Macy's. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yep. In a single way, all the so most most of the pastors are related in some way. Yeah, there's a lot of connections. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I have a list of all the connections. Oh yeah. I made a list. Oh, wow. I can't find it, though. Oh, wow. Oh, You'll have to share that with us sometime. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lee just came in. She had a question for you. I was scrolling to try to find it. She mm -hmm. was wondering. I've, I've actually lived in Huntington. I lived oh, in were Huntington. you? I lived in Huntington for two months. Okay. Did you go to Eloise's grave any? Or did you see her grave? I... Oh, yeah. No, because I, I, I completely forgot that she uh, was buried there. I would have went. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So I'm kicking myself in the butt for that. <laughs> uh, Lee just came in. She had a question for you. I was scrolling to try to find it. She was wondering there she is. Hi, Lee. I'm, I'm back again. Okay. Uh, I was just wondering if you had ever considered what our, what our, what our ancestors knew each other on the ship. Did you, go to Eloise did you ever think grave? about that? Or did you see her grave? Did I die? Oh, there we go. Yeah. We were, everyone else is frozen for a second. Oh, so I can think I can hear somebody's um live stream. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can hear myself. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's well, trying to... My husband. My husband was listening on another on another room. So, cool. <laughs> okay, can you repeat your question? I'm not sure if she heard. Yeah, uh, about, about uh, you know, that the survivors knew each other, uh, but that if they, that they had ever, ever met, uh, my my, my uh, step grandmother was uh, the, the 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 girl uh, with the Father Brown uh, party, and I understand that that she met your father, your or your no, it was like your mother when your father was still in her, um, and I was just kind of wondering if you ever considered. Uh, what what the exchanges would have been? I have no idea. If you're talking to me, I have no idea. I I never met any of them. Oh, okay. No, I'm 60. I was born in 1958. She was gone in 1940. Uh, okay. I, I wish I did. I'd like to yeah. go back in time. Yeah. And find and talk to her. So you're. Your, I drove once she came to me, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Did you say it was your step 
mother grandmother. Step grandmother. Step grandmother. Step grandmother was Kate O'Dell. Is that? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Brandon knows. knows. God, Brandon knows yes. everything. Brandon yes. knows everybody. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kate O'Dell. to. And uh, so she said she met Eloise on the ship. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yep. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. That. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> really? Yeah. really. <laughs> What did That's she amazing. say about her? Yeah. Uh, just that she was one of the sweetest women she ever met. You know, that's that may actually, this may actually be a clue. Because, uh, you know, Betsy, I was showing you that picture that was taken yes. on the deck. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I was going to bring that up. Yeah. That was taken by Father Brown. Oh, okay. So there you go. If really? The one with the little boy? grandmother was in the Father Brown party and says she met your grandmother, that, that could is very well be them. Mm -hmm. That is uh -huh. so cool. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. You. Yeah. Thank when you, you for asking that, that because yeah. that's a great clue. Yeah. That's a wonderful clue. Yeah. And, and the I picture know I'm researcher. talking about is, of yeah. course, where uh, Douglas Fedden is spinning his top. Yep. Oh, yeah. If one, you yeah. notice off to the right, there's a young man standing there with a cap on, and there's a woman oh, in front oh. of him. And the young man is wearing a there jacket. There she goes. Let me highlight this picture. This is, the, this is the hat. Yeah. Right, I'm, I'm going to spotlight that you here. That is the hat that that young Brandon man is wearing. Yeah. Can, you hold that, can you hold it up a little bit higher? Can you see it yet? Oh, and Brandon, what, 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 there's the hat. What's the name of the yeah. book you're, hanging up, you're holding up? What's the name of the book? That's, that's my book, uh, Gilded Tragedy, is what it's called. Thank you. Thank you. And it's, it's a biography of Eloise. But, but that picture of course, is yeah. that hat. It's our book of the month. Yeah. It's our, our book of the month for June. So it's on absolutely. Top of I just want to get it. That's all. You yeah. And you want I, it. You want yeah. it. Yeah. When I you showed that it. Father Brown picture to Betsy, she said, "Oh, that looks like my dad. The way he stood." Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. Oh my gosh! There's the lifeboat, lifeboat number six. Oh. Yeah. yeah. No, no, so is that Robert Hitchens in the back? Yeah. Was, oh yeah. And she and didn't have nice Lee in the front nope. there. She, she did not like him. To say about him no. <laughs> he, yeah, she did not like very, him. He was not very popular. Then no, I didn't like him. Mm -hmm. I read and I read her affidavit thing on, yeah. on the way to Connecticut, and she was saying some things about him. And it's yeah. like she she loathed him. Yeah. Yep. I have the quote. I can't clean. You're what? Say that again, please. I have their uh, claim from the Titanic. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the, the one that lists the items that they had on board. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, oh their cool. claim. Yeah. Really? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, That's they awesome. lost, some, yeah. lost some great stuff. We got to have it have a show and tell here. We get everybody can do their little yeah. Who's my show Titanic, and tell. baby. Oh, my I dad. love these. So my do you dad, notice a lot dad. of... I love these pictures. Thank you for doing this because that was my plan yeah. today. To Alter, there's my yeah, portrait Walter. in my bedroom. There she is. <laughs> yeah. Walter, for some reason, your audio is very, very distorted and it's hard to hear. Me? Walter. No, Walter. No. Walter. Walter's audio is very distorted. I thought I'd pass that on. It's all the way up. Thank you for showing these. That was my plan. Yeah. And my dad. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's downstairs yeah. by the couch. <laughs> and you guys make that's... sure and, and please yeah. mute yourselves when you're not talking because there's a lot of stray noise that comes in. Oh, I, yeah, I, I got a, yeah. Thank you, I got Brandon. a question for Thank you, Jill. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so, are, this, this is so exciting to see you two together for the first time. This is the first. I know. Time. Yeah, we've, we've I know. Never actually He's used never heard my voice. That's that's yeah. that's very. And exciting. all I have to say around this house is Brandon said or Brandon did. Yeah. Brandon that everybody knows who Brandon is. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Now everybody knows who Julian is. Yeah. I mean, we're all big buds. Yeah. yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, Brandon, you're just not a just not just an author. You're a you know family researcher. Yeah, family. Yes, he is. Yeah, family. Family. Yes, he is. And I, I never Andy, I never imagined I would actually know her family. That you know, that I was beyond Andy, you we gotta go to Huntington. Yeah. 
Yeah. Meet you and Julian there, and you tour us around. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I can't and you wait. need to take yeah. us along. I you can take us along person, on Zoom. Because I yeah. love them. Yeah, yeah. That, that city is full of family history. You know, and that's there's so roads, cool. yeah. roads named after them, and uh, yeah, the know, graves. Yeah. 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 It's covered. I, mean, I was just happy when my daughter had her second child and put her middle name Elizabeth. I'm like, Finally, somebody named something after me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? You know, I want it. Eloise and Lucian got yeah. all sorts of stuff. I'm just teasing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Anthony, we have a, we also have a little side group called the Titanic Book Club for Children. If you want to, if you, I don't know if you're on Facebook or if you can go along with, um, you know, with, I'd put him on Facebook that... for you. He just got a phone this past. Oh, okay. yeah, December. yeah, because he lives with us. We're raising this boy. Mm -hmm. It'll be great to have you in the the book club for kids. He would love that. I would love to. He knows yeah, so be... much about everything. Um, yes, to do. With maybe Titanic. we can have a Zoom for children, you know, and you can talk yeah. about your family. God, he would yeah. love that. And if it wasn't for Brandon, I don't think I would have gotten into Titanic. Oh, Brandon. For you. Well. Uh, you know, and I'm happy to hear are, it's it's continuing. You know, we're all yeah. praising there be Brandon. A <laughs> yeah, you guys, uh, and you're just the pretty as a picture. Yeah, one she? Yeah, she is. Oh, you guys, they're so nice. They're so nice. They're they're beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> they're beautiful. And Julian, you're beautiful too, as you're crocheting. But yeah. I do love you too. Yeah. Yeah, and I had to move into the bedroom to plug my phone up, so she's back at the other end of the house. But I'll uh, I'll pass that on to her. <laughs> Uh, yeah. so was she instrumental in helping you with your research or helping you with your book at all or um she she or just uh, supportive loving. she was just very interested <laughs> I mean I'd show her things and she'd be like oh wow you know uh, she she likes the Titanic it's not something she's big into but uh yeah so yeah I definitely really, supportive was awesome yesterday yeah. when I was so worried about your birthday card <laughs> she was awesome because she sent me a picture of it and said, I told you not to worry. <laughs> yes, said, Brandon just had I a birthday. We should all sing happy birthday yeah. over here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I sent him Eloise. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to. You was saw Vincent's, yesterday? right? Vincent's Do article. I? The one thing yeah. I sent you about Tudell's daughter, Vincent. Yeah. The article. I didn't. I, I knew she was a high powered lady, but whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I found that and I said, ooh, I gotta send that to Brandon. Yeah. I gotta send that to Brandon. I gotta send that to Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. We're still finding tons of stuff. Um, yeah. So oh, there'll probably don't be worry. a I second still have edition. a whole room as you saw. Do you think you'll yeah. do a second edition? I think you should with all the I new do too. Yeah. Yeah. I think there will be eventually. Uh I wanna see what and all, you know, she finds. I, I, I wish I could fly you down here. Yeah. And I would take you to our storage and everything. This is only part. Yeah. Wow. I would love to take you shopping in the house. It's all free. Oh. Everything for you. Yeah. Oh. oh, you should. I wish we should be said to make we could set up a little fundraiser for this. Yeah, I, I would. <laughs> Andy and I've already talked about it. I swear I would fly Brandon down here. And if I had the money, I don't, but if I did, yeah. and I would really say, bad. Brandon, go, what, what, take it. Well, take let's it. set up a little, um, you know, go fund me. No yeah. kidding. You got, you guys, you know, we'll all donate. It's, no kidding. Take us I'm along on Zoom. What am I going to do? You know, <laughs> Anthony will <laughs> take some stuff, but yeah, Brandon would be like my. Anthony will probably team. want it. Anthony will probably want it. Well, but he's only 14 right now. So, right. Yeah, but he's already a little, you know. Anthony, do you have a favorite yeah. Titanic book or story besides Maybe. your family history story? Um, he has one he got from school. Oh. What's the name of the Robert Ballard one? It's on our table um, in there. Let me get He'll grab it. Okay. <laughs> and Betsy met Robert Ballard. I did. Oh, wow. Let's hear about it. I did. My <laughs> sister and I, she worked for Northern Trust Bank and they flew him in to do a talk about finding the titanic and she got andrew and i tickets and we went there and got a picture taken with them and it was cool yeah very interesting wonderful man nicest man ever my yeah, i sister, saw him in buffalo once 
did you talk to him? Yeah. No, we it was a large crowd, but they were taking questions, but he didn't choose mine. Well, let me tell you just a sad story about my sister. And you know, if my sister was still alive, she would be kicking my for telling you this, but I just want to tell you this. God bless my sister. <laughs> Kathy, we're all she, thinking about you. <laughs> yeah. She got so excited when James Cameron was gonna make Titanic. Yeah. And she used to come visit me. She lived in Orlando at the time and she would come visit me here in Venice. And we were taking this big long walk around the block one time, like 20 minute walk. And she's like, guess what I did? I said, what? She goes, you know, they're remaking tight or they're making the movie Titanic. James Cameron, blah, blah, blah. you know, she was all about stars and this and that. I said, yeah, she goes, I applied to be an extra. And I said, you don't have to pay me. My grandparents were on there. Just please let me be on the move. And she never heard from them. Oh, her heart was broken. Oh, I wonder if it just didn't get through. It I didn't... don't know. Yeah. But she wanted to be on that movie. Mm -hmm. Even she's even if I'm on the deck when it's sinking, I just want. She also applied for a job in Orlando yeah. at the Titanic Museum, took in stuff to prove she was a relative and they wouldn't hire her. So I don't so know. I, want, I think sometimes they get suspicious. They're not sure I think people so are too. really related. Yeah, I think I, that's why I saw, I saw Beanie. They probably just, you know, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, anyway, because I've seen, I've it. seen, I've seen Don Lynch give people the third degree. You know, who are you? How are you related? How yeah. do you know? Oh my are God. Oh my God. <laughs> I have letters from him oh, to my Anthony. sister. I just found. Letters from Don Lynch. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I like sister. your book. I, I just found him too, Anthony. I just found him. He yeah. wanted to. Uh, he wanted to talk to her. Oh, so he's probably got some stories to tell too. Were you so. able to talk uh, with Don when you were doing your research, Brandon? Yeah, I know. I know Don. Uh, he's a friend of mine. He uh, he actually provided me a letter in his files. Uh, he had received it in 1977, so that tells you how long he's been researching. Uh, he had received it from a uh, lady who met Eloise while she was mourning Lucian. And uh, 65 years later, she still remembered Eloise and actually talked to Don about it. And so Don provided me that letter, and I actually got to uh, publish it in my book. Whoa. Oh, so I knew that then. <laughs> how, how, on I earth did, I didn't make the how on earth he got in touch with that lady, I don't know or what? how she got in touch with him but uh she was in college and she said that Eloise's family had paid for her college roommate's education so I don't know what the connection was exactly but uh Eloise and her aunt one of her aunts came and visited the college uh roommate and so that was how the lady had met Eloise and she said she was so beautiful but she was all in black and just very yeah. heartbroken and that stuck out to her for 65 years. Yeah. Wow. You, you said that her mother, Belle, you said Belle wore um, morning clothes till her husband, I mean, till she passed. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah, he, he died. Never changed. Mm -mm. She Same always man. kept kept a black uh, morning band around her neck. They meant business Edwin, back then. Edwin, I mean, Edwin said he still remembered her wearing that. That was something he very much remembered about her was she I wore that. Gotten, I wish I'd gotten to meet him. You know, I, I, I only got to talk to him on the phone. I was supposed to meet up with him and he got sick and, of course, passed away. Uh, so I never actually got to get together with him. Uh, but we talked a lot. and He shared a lot of memories. Uh, so he, he definitely helped. Beanie met him. Beanie met him as Mary. I, I have some. I have so much stuff, Brandon. I swear to God, it would take a UPS truck to bring everything. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I've got letters. I've got this. I've got that. I yeah. mean, mm. but there's a letter. Um, she met Edwin. They went out to dinner. She and Norwood went there. Her husband and met um, Taylor and Edwin. Yeah. And I never okay. knew Taylor. Yeah. Caleb said he had a question, but I must have missed it. So I'm going to ask him again. I'm sorry. Caleb, what was your question? And I'll. No, it's not your fault. I just miss things when I'm trying to watch your <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> computer. That's not your fault. Yeah, 
I just am not the best. Mold I don't know if I'm interrupting in somebody or I don't even no, know. No, you're not at all. Oh, I think when you do, you know, when you, we got to get Brandon down there and then you guys. We can... do. Oh, my God. I've got to hug Brandon and Julian. I yeah. have to. I have to have them in real life. All, All right, right, so we're gonna manifest this, everybody. I want to see them in real life. I love these. <laughs> yeah, I love these two, and I, I yeah. never met them personally. Yeah, right. but I love them. My well, whole yeah. family well, does. down there. Well, what? I want. To... Wait, yeah, so we will get where are you there. again, Betsy? Where are you located again? Venice, Florida, Southwest Florida. We're like south of Tampa, Sarasota. Yeah, All right. my mom was West in Coast. Punta Gorda, and I've got my brother in. Oh my God, Punta Gorda is awesome. Who lives down there? My mother's in Punta Gorda, and then my my brother's in Fort Lauderdale. Oh my God! Well, okay, you got an East Coast, okay? Yeah, Fort Lauderdale, but Punta Gorda is like Gorda's right down not... the street from us. Yeah. I um. I'm Maybe we need you. to plan a little gathering. How's Florida right now? Yeah. yeah, we should plan a little gathering. And... We should do that. And we can all bring our books. Yes. <laughs> my so I can rent a car, cool. Brandon. I'll just come by and pick you up on my way down. Okay. okay. You pick right. them up, bring them. And yeah. Andy and I'll meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. That'd be more fun than a barrel of monkeys. That's one of my uh, favorite. I lines. think we should yeah. do it. Not just talk about it. And, um, no, we need to do it. Yeah, time goes and, too fast. And, and then our members that can't come, we'll just put up a Zoom and yeah, you know, they can come yeah. along that's like great. this. <laughs> I think that's, that's great. You guys are the best. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm so, so glad you let me in your club. I love I'm it. I'm so grateful you, you were finally able to come. In. It's like, wait, you denied her again? <laughs> <laughs> What's <laughs> wrong with Betsy? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, <laughs> She's a VIP. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Well, they're very careful because we do, you know, sometimes get, you know, scammers. Oh, absolutely. Or people sending, selling sunglasses, or people just want to. Oh, that's. Stupid. So there's there's key things. So you, sometimes when the profile looks sort of. And new, some people make people jokes little... about Titanic, and I don't think that's funny no. either. Oh, I know. I no. Either. That's some of those, sad. Yeah. You know when they do that because. Mm, yeah. People seriously, I mean, not yeah. just die, just horribly died. died i mean gee, i have a i found a medical book um in some stuff i just found um my dad took me to europe in 1971 and my dad had a lot of medical issues at that point and he had to have uh, a book about everything about him and his family history and he said his mother uh when it came to his parents heart disease and when it came to his father he said drown and it was so sad Oh, just to see it typed out, drown. Yeah, and he didn't even know him. Yeah, <laughs> why? I so, know, yeah, but yeah. in actuality, people really froze, yeah. right? They didn't really necessarily, but it's still, it's still, it's so, still, it's so sad. Yeah, yeah. That's all right, Brandon's keeping her alive. Yeah, he is, That's and what a beautiful. I mean, you feel like you have her personal photo album when you're. I know. Yeah. I know. And I, Can I, ask still, have, I still have this this picture. Yeah. Right we're gonna there. get it to Walter. I we'll all write to Lulu and say what. And Walter, um Brandon, yeah. Brandon sent me um his signature. You find out so if he doesn't get, get your his book, book I'll can... send him one. Oh. Yeah, we'll get one soon. Yeah, yeah, no way. Yeah. If he ain't getting this, if you're not getting your book, we're gonna send you one, man. No doubt about it. Yeah. No doubt. I know. I feel if, bad. If you're not gonna your book. Yeah. He's been waiting since this since May? When did you order yours? yours oh my goodness. Ago. Early May. I, I ordered, can you guys hear me? Yes. I ordered it on my birthday, May 3rd. Yeah, I thought I it was better. I had a birthday gift myself. So it's been uh, July 3rd, will be two months. That's ridiculous. We got to get you more of Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. Is Lulu the only site that I could find it on? I don't understand that. Mm -mm. Wait, say that That's again. Too long. Yeah. Yeah, I don't That's understand that. I said, I was asking Brandon, is Lulu.com the only site I could find that book on? Yeah, unfortunately, right now it is the only, the only site. Mm -hmm. We um, had no problems though. So, yeah. So we'll we'll, mm -hmm. we'll get him a book. You, yeah, you we'll make sure you get Google. one. It comes up on Google. Oh, Anthony said it comes up on Google. Andy's or Anthony's been Anthony follows everything about you. So I've found out you can buy it. You could it will show Lulu.com on there. So that's exactly okay. Well, 
if he doesn't get his book, we're going to get him one. Yeah. I'll get him one. I'll buy him one. And I'll send it to Jill to send to him and whatever. Oh, that Gotta have nice. the book. Oh, yeah. maybe you could sign it for him. Yeah. Sure. Book. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm serious. I and know. Both your signatures in that book. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be okay because he can send you a sticker because I asked him. He sent me um. A I had him with his signature. I had him after you had you said that Brandon was sending you a sticker. I had him send a sticker to Anthony. Yeah, because oh, yeah. I love that. It makes it even more special. <laughs> he put it, he put it right where it that's says. That's something and, I learned from George Behe. I learned that from George too, because I said, George, well, I need you to sign my book. That's going to cost too much. I'll send you a sticker. Like, yeah. Anthony <laughs> put his where it says dedicated to Lucian Philip Smith. That's where Andy put or uh, Anthony put his. Yeah, and Maybe then my son get Philip, has a book. Anthony, uh, Philip, my son Philip, uh, he has. Um, Brandon had a book for my sister. Yeah, but she didn't, you know, make it long enough. So I asked him to give it to my sis to you know, my son, and he has it with the sticker, or or he signed his. He signed. Yeah. I'm so bragging yeah. again because mine's so signed. Oh, it is. Don't you want to read that to us, or is that too? <laughs> you want me to? I would love sure. to. You want me to? Go ahead. <laughs> for Betsy and Andrew, I can never thank you both enough for your many selfless contributions, guidance, and stories shared for this project. Without your support, this book wouldn't have been one third what it has become. I sincerely hope you like the final results. I set out seven years ago to tell your grandmother's life story in a way that would honor her. I hope I have accomplished that. I feel Eloise and Lucian will forever live on in our hearts and minds of those who read her story and came to love her as I did. Love, Brandon Whited. Oh, I love is that, that not that. does that, that not make you want to cry i know i'm about <laughs> to cry here myself that's beautiful i look at this book i look at this book every single day and i yes, think i appreciate that eloise me too says, i carry it around it's yeah. not even a relative <laughs> eloise says i love you brandon yeah i mean Aww. and she loves all you guys jill and everybody there I mean, really, oh, we're keeping yeah. her story alive, and it's she, not yeah, over because we've got a visit you know? to make yeah. and things but to do. Be. So, yeah, Brandon's our hero. Oh, oh yeah. well, thank you. Great granddaughter. Yes, great granddaughter. We'll yeah, make sure okay. you get a book. Yeah, you're gonna get a yeah, book for sure. No doubt about it. Um, um, quicker than that that book. Book. Yeah. We had someone else join us. If you want to say hi, John oh, hi. Kavanaugh. Hi. Okay. Here with Hello. us. It's actually Hello. Maria. Say hi, John. <laughs> it's actually oh, Maria. Is that John? That's not John. Who is that? <laughs> hi. Oh, Maria. Oh, I yeah, didn't recognize her last husband. name. Wait, I got to rename you here. Hi, you Maria. This is hi. our friend Maria. She lives near the Titanic Museum in um, oh. Springfield, Missouri. She, oh, I'd love oh, to go there. Yeah. Massachusetts. I'm nice. Massachusetts. <laughs> no, I gotta it, rename you if I can find you. It's Springfield, Massachusetts. Oh. What did I say, Missouri? I'm just Missouri. Sorry, it's so. Springfield, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So Maria. you live near? You've probably um, visited Milton Long's grave. I just did last week. She, she just put a picture up. You'll have to share oh. it with everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm I'm trying to learn technology. <laughs> all right i just renamed you so we <laughs> okay yeah we just went last week it, it took me a while to find him and then finally i found him and then i just went to see barbara yesterday the oh, museum's still barbara. not open oh were the you museum... able to visit with her yeah the museum's not open because you know in massachusetts you still museums can't be open but um I bought a few things, little things. So, oh, so did she open it for you? Especially? Well, no, she sold me a few things, but technically, <laughs> she opened the museum. So, if I people didn't don't like know them. Barbara is Ed Kamuda's sister, the the oh. founder, uh, one of the founders of the Titanic Historical Society, who passed away. Yay! 2012. 2012. Was it 2012? I'm not sure. No, I it don't... wasn't that far back. I don't think. I don't remember. <laughs> maybe I 14 
his grave next i don't know maybe next week or something i want to take try to take a ride uh, but ed uh when ed was a young man he tried to get betsy's dad to join the ths mm -hmm. i have that letter yep <gasps> you have, have that letter, letter? Ed I, do. I have i have the letter i just saw it the other day i got it i showed it to brandon i don't know what dad ever did with it i just happened to find it and some stuff Ed's so dad he, ran a movie theater, so he watched um what was it the nineteen fifty three Titanic movie I think and, and yeah then, it was uh, right across I, the street I believe and didn't it call it came with the movie came with like a list of survivors and he sat down as a young man and wrote letters to all the survivors and yeah he uh he saw when the Viking princess uh, happened he read that's about how he got a hold of dad right mm -hmm. oh yeah and he wrote wrote to your dad about it about joining being an honorary member oh of my THS goodness. but there's uh, another probably, connection probably didn't take uh, him up on it i don't know did she take you know, yeah no i mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know, no i have to, I'll have to shoot you a copy i just saw it again i yeah. just saw it yeah just saw cool. it today well, I'm starting a new group. Maybe I'll have invite. I'll, I'll definitely invite you guys. I haven't opened the group up yet, but it's a passenger study group, you know, where we can Ooh. really go into depth and and study passengers because I love to study passengers. And I, I don't know if there's a group out there right now where people really study them. So I thought, yeah. Um, well, if anybody will come up with it, you will. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. I used, yeah. I used to have a a group for um, family members, but. Um, oh. I think some re researchers tried to get in and like it was it was it was mm -hmm. the whole idea was so they could get to know each other but it got a little and then um, yeah. somebody oh from the Allison family accused me of using the group oh, for my own please. purposes the to write Allison a book and, and from the Allison family the um, wow that's yeah, cool. and I, and yeah. I kept trying to tell me, no, I just like to bring people together. And then, that's yeah. all you do. You Maybe yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. I love to bring people together because I think I love the connections. Because look how many connections oh, we I know. Yeah. Have what right you did today. Yeah. I've never gotten to talk to Brandon in person. Oh, I'm so no. glad. We are. Oh, I can't wait till you guys actually meet each other. <laughs> that's going to be fun. Me too. Oh, I know. Yeah. We're going to Can more. I ask a question? Yeah. Yes, go for it. Um, go so the cover you. of the book is that your father as the baby and yes, your grandmother. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. That's L. That's L. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's a. And I have the original picture, picture and Brandon. Yeah, here's the cover of the it. book, yeah. everybody. He looks so happy, and she does he's, too. Yeah, he's a cute little baby. I never saw these pictures when he was alive. Darn yeah. it, the hackers. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. What year them. was that? What year would so yeah, she was what he was born in nineteen twelve? That would have been either really late nineteen twelve or early nineteen thirteen. Yeah, November twenty. She's still birthday. dressed in black. She's still wearing her. She was still yeah. in mourning. Yeah. So her husband was on the Titanic. Yeah. Then? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And was lost. And they were they really were was. Yeah. They were they just... coming home from their honeymoon. Yeah. Yeah. Caleb, you know, to answer your question, is he... honeymoons. Oh, go ahead. That? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. Caleb has to get Caleb, I'll send you the yeah. information. <laughs> there were 13 honeymooners on board, and only three of them survived intact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I know. Oh, three out of 13. It said she was, it said at, um, somewhere, and I think Brandon's one even told me that Eloise was waiting in the gymnasium yeah. with Mrs. Astor. Oh. Uh, they waited in the, yeah, they did wait in the gym for a while. Yeah. And, yeah. That's yeah. where Astor and, up and his uh, lights up to show what. Uh, the, hmm. yeah, the cork, the, the cork inside. inside the yeah, cork. Colonel Astor cut one open. For Madeline to show her the cork inside. Um, yeah, uh, she and Madeline were at least acquainted. We know that because Madeline yeah. sent her a telegram when Lucian was born, congratulating her on her baby. Did I send you that? Yeah, Brandon, have I sent you that? Oh, uh, you've sent me. Yeah, you've sent me the scan of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I got yeah. it. I thought it. I thought I sent it to you. I was making sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll send you the original. Oh wow! Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> you are too kind. Are you kidding? He's no. keeping our life. 
he is younger than my daughter yeah <laughs> his mom yeah so my son's 27 Brandon's I know how old he is because he's as old as I am married 20 days younger 34 I need to give this stuff to you yeah well that's very he's kind that's very kind I'm of you 34. oh you're 34 too yeah. You're 34 too. You guys are a bunch of youngsters. They are. <laughs> I'm telling you, what yeah. the heckers? I <laughs> bought that book on my 34th birthday. What's that? He bought the book on his 34th birthday. The oh. book he hasn't received yet. The book yeah. of the you month. Are we're, we're all gonna. Well, if you don't get it, we're gonna get you. I'm gonna write. Yeah. Well, we're, well, what is that term, Jack? Usually, usually oh, they send word. a tracking number. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't. When I ordered terrible. the book. Joanne's the one that sent me the link to Lulu. I wasn't a, a, me a member yet, so I was just a guest. So they don't have a tracking number or anything. Oh, you bought it as a guest? Um, yes. Hmm. All right, we're going to fight this. We just got to get him a book. Yeah. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Give Jill your address. We'll get you a book. I will. Yeah, so yeah, we'll happy we'll get belated you. birthday present. He definitely, yeah. he definitely deserves a book. Yeah, I know he's been I'll so get him patient. one. Yeah, I'll get him one because I get an author discount. So. <laughs> oh, you will, and maybe you can write him a nice little birthday I'll, message. I'll sign oh, it. You yeah. can sign it. That would be so nice. Yeah. Oh, and that's, that's what so you thoughtful. are. It's really nice. Yes. Are you, well, thank you. Yes, you are so too. Nice. You guys have the best smiles ever I've seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, thank right you. about now, I love smiley faces. Yeah. Well, Especially now when times are hard. Got so much so going on. Smile. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Did we I don't smile at all because I have no teeth. Oh, that's a fundraiser there. With another feature fundraiser. <laughs> <clears throat> it's so nice to see you, though, Walter. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Oh, this is so fantastic. Anybody been, else? Yeah, so fun. much fun. It has been. <laughs> so fun. It's so, so fun. When Betsy said she was going to come, I was like, oh, so many times. <laughs> Betsy's going to come bring her favorite book yeah. in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and it's yeah. so nice to meet you, too, Anthony. I look forward yeah. to getting to know yeah. you more, too, on the in the book club for kids. There's another yeah. little boy named... Um, uh Kaden and he puts uh Matt, he puts a, a post every Friday you know things like his favorite books and, but <laughs> oh that's cool you get involved like that too you know if you have an idea something you want to implement and I that's swear cool. I think this must have been I think he's up to 35 consecutive Fridays where he has posted either his favorite book yeah, or YouTube it. Wow. And, you know and I think for someone that just turned 10 that's that's a lot that's yeah dedication. isn't that fantastic that I is just, a lot yeah but I'd Future love for him to meet you and yeah that's really yeah. you know kids it's you guys that are going to bring the Titanic story into the future you know we're, yep that's right yeah yes, and he, I, I told him what Brandon said to him and his when he gave him a sticker and he said you could be the next you know generation to keep everything yeah. alive and yeah, i think he will sure. be yeah i really do i think i think he will be because he really really is in love with it because he loves the fact his great great grandmother i know you have a connection you know a lot of people are searching major their histories for connect that yeah. is a big and then yeah. you know so much because brandon's done so much research which i would just love to have somebody um <clears throat> Oh, Anthony, he put the yes. link up there in the chat for you for the. Oh, OK, so this is a little off the topic, but how are you guys feeling about um, like the bringing up the Marconi equipment? I know some family members were pretty strongly against mm. it, but mm. um, some I, people, or you can also say, you know, I don't want to comment, which is no, funny. I know. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. I mean, I would, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I saw so much about that and I. If it stays down there, it's it's gonna be like mm -hmm. so. I don't know. I just love that everybody remember. I yeah, don't, I don't. I shouldn't say. Yeah, I know. I've tried to stay neutral on it too because I can see both sides. I can see where people are really excited about um, bringing things up, and then I can see where a lot of people are really hurt by that. Um, so I've tried to. I Just know it's like, you but I do every, respect I mean, people's opinions and I guess they're not going to be able to get it to work again. I guess they've been pretty clear. Oh, that'd yeah. be cool. 
I never thought about it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's that not going to be something. Cool. Not going to be that would something. Be cool. Yeah, that they can, be cool. you know, but they're not sure that they could replicate it. Um, yeah, and I, I think guess... it's the only uh, 14 kilowatt. It's the only type of device like that still in existence, I think. Is that correct? Oh, that could be. That, that's correct. That's yeah. correct, Richard. Okay. And, and I guess, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of a, it's a gray area. It's, uh, it's a, you know, I can see why people say, well, if they bring that up, what else will they bring up? What, you know, but I don't personally, I don't personally have a problem with it. Um, what else is there? Yeah. I mean, honestly, I mean, mm. well, yeah. I the Marconi equipment, um, that's the only piece that's really still in the cabin. All this stuff at that's the motor generator with the, uh, spark discharger on the end which is the unique piece to titanic everything else was washed into one of the other uh officers staterooms during the sinking itself during the plunge so um the really the only thing that remains is a couple things that are up on the wall and that motor generator there's a transformer which could be toxic and some other components down there they don't want to touch but it's just that one piece and basically it's an electric motor that spins the generator and then on the end of the shaft there's the uh rotary spark discharger so it's all all works in synchronization so the big question is do you leave it let let it stay down there and let it get destroyed by nature um or do you bring it up and whatever damage that they might do to the ship to get it out, nature is going to take care of anyway. So for me, I'd like to see it, but I'm also neutral on it. But uh, being a uh, amateur radio operator, um, I do have an interest, uh, a keen interest in the Marconi equipment and how it all works. And uh, would like to, uh, uh, I, I would like to see it, but I, I, I want to uh, uh, avoid the, um, uh, controversy uh, at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I uh, know. Yeah, I was just curious, you know, what you guys, um, you know, because I know there are some, some survivors, especially the ones that got connected with uh, Titanic Historical Society and family members that were like, you know, it was very personal to them because, you know, even like Melvina Dean didn't even want to see a Titanic movie because she was like, my, that's not, that. she said, that's not entertainment to me. You know, I lost my father. And, um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She had it rough. Ooh. She, she had it bad. Yeah. Until she, um, I always yeah. wondered if your dad ever caught any of the Titanic movies, you know, that were I on. know. Uh, well, uh, yeah. well, but he never, he never, never, never talked about it. Never, yeah. ever, ever. And I happened to find just the other day again, this is kind of heartbreaking. I just happened to find black and white pictures. My dad was a big picture taker. And I found this picture of all these trunks these beautiful steamer trunks yeah. i mean like from dallas and that's where i was born so i was only there a year and like five here and a bunch stacked up and all that my sister told me that um dad wouldn't part with them because those are eloise's clothes oh wow i never saw them. i never saw them. i got married I got married at 17 because I didn't know what else to do. Mom, dad was dead. Mom died. I didn't know what else to do. So I got married to my boyfriend. Um, and I came home from going away because um, we got married and the whole garage was cleaned out. And I was part of the little banana, you know, the banana seed high handlebar bike right there. And when I, we got home, I said, where's all our stuff? And she said, oh, I paid somebody to clean the garage out. Oh. Then she told oh me after gosh. that that those were Eloise's clothes. He kept his mother's clothes. She saw him sit and cry in front of oh. there. Oh. I never knew all this. I never knew this because I'm the little seven-year seven year younger kid. Yeah. And who was know. it? 
Who was it that had the well, garage cleaned out? My sister. Your sister had it cleaned out. She paid somebody. That's, oh, as much so stuff as she can, her, though, it's kind of strange, isn't it? Bit. I know. Yeah. But it was yeah. because she saw my dad crying. Oh, okay. She lost it because she felt so sorry yeah. for my dad. That was why. Crying about his mom. So she yeah. didn't want anything to do with all that. Why she kept everything else, I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. But that's why it's just. wonder if the wedding pictures were in one of those trunks. God, they probably were, Brandon. I never. I was oh, because you guys haven't found those yet. But that. No, no wedding pictures. No, all. we've never no. found them. Nothing. But they could have gone down with the event. ship, too. It was a huge Oh, event. because that was before they got on the ship. I will send you that picture, Brandon. Honestly, it is. But I was a little kid. Yeah. I was seven years younger than her, and my parents had, I mean, issues. You know, God bless them both. They just had, you know, they lived in Venice, Florida. They, they, they had a lot of issues. I just went off and got married because I had to, because otherwise I had to still finish Venice High School. And mm -mm -mm. so I got married and I came home and everything was gone. Wow. Wow. That's was why that I told you someday I'll tell you. Well, I'm telling you. That, that uh, I don't know. That one shirt, um, there's a picture of Eloise with this beautiful, like, linen kind of shirt with really pretty, like, I don't know, lat lattice work or whatever. I don't know. You don't dress like that nowadays. And I told Anthony, I said, I've seen that shirt. <gasps> I have yeah, seen that shirt. Wow. Yeah, but I never saw it. It had a collar. It's a picture of her. It has a collar. Is there a picture in the, in the book? I don't know. Andy will find it. I think, I know, I think I know the shirt oh that you're She's talking amazing. about. But yeah, that's I. That's where I'm thinking everything must have gone. That's it. Here it is. Show them. Oh, yeah. Oh. I saw that shirt. Wow. But whatever happened to it, I yeah. don't know. Was there a, like a wedding announcement in the newspaper or anything? I think there was a wedding announcement, wasn't there, Brandon? Or was yeah, that there were dad? several. It was a big event in Huntington. It was a big one to me. Huh? So the, I bet there's pictures of friends have pictures. Somebody's there's pictures somewhere. We just haven't, you know, they're still finding pictures of Titanic. Never, so you just uh, never know what's going to yeah. come. I've never, ever found anything except like the announcements. Um, it was a big event in Huntington and, uh, Actually, the lady I told you about that I met, who's about 103 years old now, she said when she was a little girl and went to that church uh, where Eloise was married, that they were still talking about the wedding, that, <gasps> uh, just how big it was, how big of an event it was. Um, wow. She had a scrapbook for everything. Yeah. She had a scrapbook for her Sunday school. She had a, a, a diary. She oh, had a... Wow. You know, you can't tell me she didn't have a wedding. There had if been. anybody yeah. wanted to show you how gorgeous she was when she got married, it would have been Ellie. Yeah. No pictures. I bet yeah, you. Yeah, because of right. course she'd want to keep those. I would she never have thought of that. Uh, I'll bet you. I'll I came bet you, I'll across bet you. this yeah. uh, this comment on some website, um, and I can't even remember where I saw it. It was years ago. This lady said her great aunt was one of Eloise's bridesmaids. <gasps> and I tried so hard to contact that woman and she never got back to me because she said she saw a picture of her aunt in her bridesmaids gown and I'm oh like well, my that, would goodness. Be, that would be a picture from that day and I tried so hard to get a hold of her and she never replied to me so you uh, think she not... maybe forgot that she made that comment on that maybe website, it had been a few cause... years before I found it that she had just kind of casually mentioned it um you know that her great aunt had been a bridesmaid at you know this titanic survivors uh, wedding in huntington and that she saw a picture of her great aunt in her bridesmaids outfit i seriously think you oh. just hit the nail i think see these get togethers we're doing right now i think you're opening up some of my eyes because i'm going to show you actually um god i wish i'm going to send you that picture brandon i will bet you that's where that album was because my dad kept her clothes yeah and her shoes Oh, they were really I close. Never, I just never saw them because I was a little kid. Yeah. And I got married and moved, you know, not moved. 
I got married and I moved, uh, went on vacation with, uh, at that time, his grandfather, Brian. And I came home and the whole house was, it was done. Everything was gone. My mom's car, da, 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 and, but my mom, my sister was so, um, she really had a thing for my dad. She loved my dad more than life itself. And she and my mom didn't get along very good. So I'll tell you right now, she probably, it upset him. She saw him sitting there crying, looking at her clothes, is what she told me. I'll bet you she got rid of him because it upset my dad. Never thinking yeah. that, oh my God, what are, I bet you the wedding album pictures were in there. She may have, and she probably didn't even know the album was in there, you know? I don't know. I don't know, but that makes sense because this woman kept track of everything. Yeah. Yeah, everything. meticulous. It's amazing how much she kept. I mean, I don't have things from 20 years ago that she kept for. I know. Yeah. You know. 34 years. It's like, I'm lucky I can find my wedding pictures. What the heck? Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I serious. Wonder if, I wonder if you can track that woman down by just looking her name up on like Facebook or something. Have you tried doing that? Yeah, the, if you could find that dude. The woman that. who the woman who said um her aunt attended the that's wedding. where I found her and I tried that was where I actually tried to contact oh. her. Um, she was an elderly, she's an older woman. Um well you know was, how Facebook is now. If you try yeah. to send a message, it goes into this other secret hidden folder. Yeah, and I don't I, I wish there was some other way, you know, an easier way to contact people because I found one of Robert Williams Daniels grandsons the other day. Yeah. And I actually sent him a message, but, um, you know, it's kind of out in space and I don't know if he'll get it. Um, but I did contact him to try to talk to him. Um, and he looks like Robert, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> Brandon, yeah. He does. Question, not to interrupt, but are any of the other, any, I say, obviously two more are, is there any relatives of Eloise's other husband? Not that I've come in contact with. Yeah. I imagine there are, but I haven't come into contact with yeah. any of them. Yeah. Wow. Of course, that one husband, uh, Court, he was very young when he died. He was uh, in a wheelchair, right? He was injured. Yeah, he was injured in World War One. I. I think maybe he got gassed. He was and... in a wheelchair, if I remember correctly. My sister told me, and then in that okay. who she was robbed with? Yeah. 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 And, lost and she lost the ring. The only thing that Lucian was pissed about her, worrying about the damn ring he bought her in Paris, and she said she was taking it. And yep. that they yep. stole and they tied and them up. It, it was, was a flawless diamond and they stole ten thousand dollars worth of jewelry. Yep. There you go. It's it's a strange story. I you know, I'd like to find more out about it because somehow they drugged Eloise and Lewis. Um I don't know how they did that, you know. They but... must have knew them. Oh. I'm sorry. They must have knew the intruder. And that's what I him. thought. That's what I thought. They had to have, in some way, been somebody they knew to let them to in. Close. Yeah, yeah. No one let them in. They lived in a safe neighborhood where they can keep their doors on lock. It uh, it was their summer home in California, San Diego, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Eloise later said that she kind of regained enough consciousness to see the intruder but leaving the intruder with her with, with that ring in his, in their hand. Oh, yeah, that ring that she was ring. given. That's the ring she's wearing on the cover. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, you'll mm -hmm. have to show everybody the cover again. <laughs> yep. Oh, there it is. Uh, you can see it on her finger. Oh yeah. I can't see. I need to spotlight her. Hold on. Oh, you guys are so great. Oh, you thank you, Richard. Or, yeah. Wait, hold on. I got it. Okay. Yeah, I love. Oh, everyone need everyone watching cool. needs to pick up this book and learn about. Please, yeah. wonderful, inspiring yeah. survivor. We'll get you yeah. She's going and to give I'm ordering my friend Mindy one too. So yeah. I'm on a roll. Oh yeah. wow. Fine for everybody. Yeah, we. As soon as I can get that book, I'll look for it. No, I, this is 
Brandon did such an outstanding job. It's to me. really wonderful. We definitely, thank you. Oh, this was so much yes, fun. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you, you for so allowing me to use thank all you your guys pictures. All coming and yeah. to, to talk. This has been more fun than, yeah. as I always say, than a barrel of monkeys. monkeys. That, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. I have a Zoom account. You guys can always get together and chat with each other and use this account Absolutely. if you ever yeah. want. Yeah, um, all right. You guys could definitely, yeah. Just let me know and I'll set up a room for you. I don't have to be there, but you guys can. Well, we want you to yes. be there. <laughs> well, I can be there. We would Joe's not there, there. We're not going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah because yeah. if we want you, Joe, uh, we won't be able to talk to you, Joe. Oh, yeah. Glad. Brandon, you better hug your pretty wife for me. I will do that. Aww. You tell but, her that we love her yes. as much as we love you, and that's a lot. Yeah. Well, we love you guys. <laughs> yeah, we so, love you guys. You guys have a nice night. Yeah. Thank you so you much too. for coming. Now, is Andrew, Andrew's your husband, Betsy? Then, yes, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's working. Okay. Got, yeah. But he did all the scanning. And Anthony, it's so nice getting to know you, and yeah. I look forward to seeing you in the book club for children. And, do yes. and think about it, you know, yeah. and whatever, you know, you can have fun with the group, you know, it's, it's I wanted it. to yeah, put the kids it. in charge, you know, if you have an idea or things that you want to do with the group to bring in more kids, because there are kids there, you know, with their parents that, you know, love Titanic. So whatever you yeah. could do to get be interactive with the group, I'd love to. Yes, welcome, welcome it'd be the best, and we got to fit somehow figure out a way for Brandon and us to get together because I got some stuff to give them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we we'll, need a plan. We'll do it. Is everything there. safe there? I heard Florida's still having a little hard time. Oh, with Florida's whatever. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Oh my. <laughs> we'll Lord. all social distance. Put our masks. It's burning hot. <laughs> yeah, we got Sahara dust. Yep. Oh. It's no. Oh. And the heat's supposed to kill the virus. I thought yeah. it couldn't live in the heat. <laughs> but you live in Venice, Betsy? What's that? You say you lived in you live in Venice, Florida? I do live in Venice. You know yeah. where it is? Somewhat. My grandmother lives in Clearwater. Okay, that's not oh. that's just a little up the road. That's yeah. where my son's girlfriend mm -hmm. lives. Yeah. We're gonna that's plan a little, a little get together. Yeah. yeah. Let's plan a little mini convention. Let's, yeah. Let's do. Yeah. Let's do. Yeah. Absolutely. Jill, you're yeah. adorable. Yeah. I love you. Oh, you guys, thank you for coming. Oh, thank you for supporting yeah. Brandon. Thank you for being thank here. You. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and we're, thank I you. Thank you for all your hard work, you Brandon. I love you. Guys. We do. You've made we my you. night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This yeah. has been great. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, it has. Yeah. I look forward to getting to know you guys better and um, yes. enjoy. You will, yeah. yeah. We'll probably come see you too. Oh yes. wait, we need. Wait, wait. Can we sing a happy belated birthday to Brandon? Yes, let's we'll sing. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ready, here we go. Brandon? One, yes. two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday. Love so much. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Thank you. Many, Many kisses. Yeah. Many kisses. <laughs> this was great. This worked out. Yeah. On your, your it's birthday. more fun than anything ever. Yes. I love all you guys. You guys yes. Stay well, we everybody. You. Stay healthy. You yes. too. You too. I made you too bad. Bad. Yes. I stayed home for this. No, I'm glad. And we'll get you, you that book. And yes. I have Walter's address here. And, um, Oh, we're going to yep, get we'll that get, book for him. I'll yes. definitely get one to him. Yeah. I send my address to you, Brandon. Brandon, you're too, yeah. Yeah. you're too cute. We're going to get yeah. you a book. Yes. We're going to get you a book. Yes. No doubt. Yeah. Thank you. You will get Thank one. you for your patience, Walter. I felt terrible yeah. and helpless. Like, I don't know how to help you. Yeah. Just go along. No. Oh, Lucy look, she's showing us a picture. Wait, I'm going to say at you again. Thank you yeah. guys for being so oh. darn nice since we've been dead for so oh. long. Yeah. You guys rock. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> that uh, Thanks for remembering uh, us. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're so welcome. We're happy to. Yeah. Hey, you're keeping them alive, Brandon. Yes. And and right. you're doing it You too, are. Yeah. You're keeping them alive. I just that's love the goal. that because yeah, that's giving the them goal. voices, that's you know. Goal. That's and, what I remember, Brandon. That's your catchphrase. That's your goal. Yeah, your goal. That's your goal. That's yeah. the important thing about history: keeping history alive. You know, yeah. Really have to find that picture. That was pretty picture mm -hmm. beautiful yeah don't let him go uh, don't let him well, go. enjoy the rest of your sunday everybody you, you too thanks, thanks jill
Nice seeing you all. Bye, Good Maria. Nice Bye. Bye, Joe. Bye. Bye, Walter. Bye, Bye. Bye Brandon. Brandon, I'm going to give Julian a big hug. I sure will. <laughs> oh, I'll put you now. on gallery view. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Oh, if you guys want to stay in chat, I'm just going to turn it off on Facebook. Let's see.